Hey everyone, I'm Nathan, and I'm excited, as once again we get to work with Maple, one of my all-time favorite renewable resources, as we, along with partners like Autodesk, work to increase the accessibility of digital fabrication using affordable modern design software such as Fusion 360, and of course our very own cutting-edge machines. <laughs> get it? By far my biggest satisfaction from this project comes from realizing just how much I use this speaker in my everyday life which actually speaks to why we feel compelled to make things in the first place. Let's talk about Autodesk University, our venue for this project. But if you haven't been here, it's insane. And easily one of the most collegial, informative, and useful trade shows focused on one company's center of gravity. As you can see, we brought our Pro Series 4824 CNC machine to produce the maple speaker bodies that participants collected as they made their way through the factory, picking up components and assembling their speaker. As you should expect, we didn't exactly make this stuff up as we went. In fact, preparation started weeks before with Garen Gardner from the Fusion 360 team designing and iterating. Yes, this is real time. Garen really does model this fast. <laughs> After Garen defined the basic design parameters, I was able to start designing the work holding project board and setting up the CAM tool paths for the project. This parallel workflow is one of the biggest advantages to using design software built for collaboration. My next step is to machine the often overlooked yet vital project board that will contain the work holding and alignment features for the maple boards that will rip and cut to length to fit. With the project board machined and assembled, it's time to test it. No need to be gentle, this maple's not going anywhere. With all these key ingredients in place, Garen has come to our creative office at Art Design Portland so we can produce a few hundred speaker bodies in a pilot production run. As we rip and cut the maple to length, I'll load the first board into the jig and press cycle start to kick off the program that we generated in Fusion 360. The first phase of the program will create the top and interior features for each of the five speaker bodies, including the wire passages and recessed features before facing the top and bottom faces. To make sure we get the most out of our Pro Series CNC machine, I'm using one of our half-inch chip breaker router bits. These are popular for a reason. Technically, it's a roughing bit, however, we've used them for all of our finished goods demonstration projects with awesome results. And as a nice design touch, Garen actually adds this small ridge that allows the electronics tray to snap in. Kind of reminds me of a Zamboni. Before we start the second phase, the machine parks and pauses for us to manually slide and secure the individual speaker retention clamps on our jig. The advantage of clamps here is that they provide reliable holding pressure and eliminate the need for tabs and are secure enough to allow for full speed feed rates. With our growing stack of speaker bodies machined, the chip breaker bit leaving a nice, nearly finished ready surface, we are done and off to Autodesk University to do this live. Special thanks to Autodesk for inviting us to work with them on this project, along with a veritable who's who in the digital fabrication industry. And a big shout out to Brian and the team at Sin City Scenic who made getting this machine to the venue and production ready possible. Thanks to everyone who stopped by to talk to us about our machines or our shared passion for making high quality digital fabrication affordable and accessible. Also thank you for watching this video. Take care. <laughs>